whether you are into automobile industry or into real estate industry or you are from manufacturing industry or dealer distributorship for that matter, the real game starts when you start selling high ticket programs, high ticket products and services, right? Uh, and I'm sure this is one of the game changer in any industry for that matter because that's where we get into a huge profitability and huge margins as well. When we as business owners, uh, I mean, rather you as business owners, as micro, small or medium business owners, you go into a level of high ticket in terms of your products and services, and you make huge profitability out of that, right? Hi, my name is Avek Aveksa, business coach and business strategies, and I'm in this mission right now to help micro, small and medium business owners. And in this video, I mean, through my own journey of getting into four businesses and also then surrendering to all the best mentors or the mentors, I mean, into the space of business and uh, life, I have been able to understand that how it really, what it takes really to go ahead to the next level and, uh, you know, going ahead and ensuring that uh, what it takes really to make it happen for that matter. So in this video, I'll go ahead and deep down and we'll go and we'll help you understand that how you can really make that high ticket selling in your segment, in your environment, with, with, with your audience and make your business to the next level. So without wasting much time, let's deep dive in and ensure that you stay till the end because towards the end, I'm also sharing you some of the golden nuggets which will help you to understand that yes, why it is so critical and what it is really takes to sell off uh, high ticket products and services. So yes, I mean, as I was sharing, you know, uh, that uh, this is very, very, this is one of the most critical parameters where the whole profitability of business lies in selling of high ticket services and products. Uh, so the first myth is, you know, you know, if you are into the space of conventional business approach where the leadership team or the business owners yourself, or maybe you are carrying the legacy of your grandparents as a family-based business, where most of the times we are okay with all our comfort-based vendors, right? And we are okay with the ground that, yes, we are having those set principles of vendors and suppliers who are keep on supplying those rotating chains and services for years right now. And we don't want to get into any changes or anything as such because change always welcomes two things. One, resistance. And two, the act of discipline to bring that discipline on table equally as well. So I think it's a hard hit call taken as well. And uh, when you actually understand the dynamics of business principle, business model, to make it profitable, that's where you see any big giant players in the industry where they have grown up even in India in today's day, it's all because they're able to scale the business with better products and services with the need of market, right? So the reason I'm, I mean, I'm vouching on the ground that it is always with the base of the need of the market because selling of high ticket products is not about only attention span. You see, in today's day, there are so many, I mean, markets, so many industries or so many brands who are running uh, influencer ads and all that stuff just to drive those attention. But the first and foremost thing of selling any high ticket products, you know, across the industry, whether you're into real estate or manufacturing or dealer distributorship or jewelry for that matter, or automotive mobile industry, what really matters is a relationship based sales approach rather than a transactional based approach. So that, this is the, that's the first golden pointers you need to get into the mind of the shoes of your customers, right? So if you're not having those relationship-based sales approach, where you educate, you nurture, you engage with your clients and customers, you know, in every touch points and interaction of your, with your clients and customers, it will never going to happen. Because what really, at a first level, your clients and your customer experience are those touch points. They never experience the product at a first short level, right? Initially for the first six months, it is just to get hang out of your environment, your ecosystem, your experiential moment, if you are not able to deliver that, it's done. It's done with, with it. And probably if it's like something like where customers are just in the first initial phase of six months to, to try and test your services, they're actually trying and testing your ecosystem. And they're testing the environment, the language of your ecosystem, which if it is not matching the ethos, then probably that will be a breakdown. So in short, it's the values versus the efforts, which make it, makes it very simple. I repeat. It's a values versus the efforts. So everyone deliver products and services. Still, you find that there are few players who go to the next level in terms of renewal, in terms of membership gain, in terms of loyalty program drive and all that stuff. And all that can only happen when you have those stringent ethos in place, when you have those stringent value-driven 
ecosystem in place and you have a relationship based approach in place when you're able to do that that gives a lot of dynamics a lot of business uh dynamics to your clients and customers where uh, they can easily resonate and you know go through you know look through with your through your vibration equally as well as in what you stand for and what you really want to share it across so is it really more of a commodity based selling or is it more of a vision or a value based selling which drives to my second pointer which is it has to be vision based selling so when you sell your high ticket products and services it has to be it has to be it has to be a vision based selling and what i mean by that see in today's day you can gather as a business owner across industry that you are in you can gather that stuff that that attention span either through those influencing based marketing strategies and those hikes so called right which is bear the minimum the attention attention span to drive those audience or you can also drive the audience through uh through those uh, through the trust based uh, uh community factor so when i say trust based nurture or community factor which means either you drive the uh audience and sell the audience uh basis on trust based nurture uh, versus you sell it on attention span based nurture so what's your style of selling your products is it more of an attention based nurture where you just drive and shout out with various marketing ads and all that stuff or is it more of a no vision based nurture so you give in every touch points and experience you always seek those listening pointers from your clients you always go that extra mile in your interactions to help out and notch out with your clients and i think that's where it plays the true game of delivering those extra results and that's where your client also experiences those extra results but it really happens that way because it's all said and done having said that it's all about setting the right expectations and uh, giving those extra experiences in every touch point i think that that will make a lot of difference right and if you can do that i think uh, it is all done with the day so that's that's where your game your game lies in terms of a vision based uh community and not a and not a uh, not a just transactional sale sale based community right so i think uh, this is the second point is on the bigger or one of the biggest point is also where you see that most of the high ticket brands or high ticket uh, products or services are getting sold in the market okay and uh, the third point of which comes in place is uh, you need to reward your clients and customers equally as well so do you have a membership program do you have a loyalty based program do you have a program where you can drive your drive the behavior of your consumer basis on relationship based approach basis on community or a vision based selling approach basis on a uh, membership loyalty based program approach if you can drive the behavior of your consumer and if you can drive those ethos of the environment of the ecosystem and reach out with the message to your end clients i think that's where it makes a big difference right and i mean you name it it's all there whether it is to do with the fmcg based industry or a consumer based industry even for that matter banking and financial industry right you see that people drive so many loyalty programs and banks are reaching finance industry reaching out to your doors in today's day and i think that's where it's one of the biggest segments so with the kind of business and services that you are in you need to give a thought and reflect and stop and reflect that what is those loyalty program or membership program that you are you are driving in your environment or is it really that every time for every big events you are becoming pushy for your sales to your clients and customers what are the visions and uh, uh nurturing uh, elements that you are having in your environment to, to get into those deep connections with your clients and services is it more education based selling or is it more aggressive and number oriented selling yeah uh, and also to understand that uh, you know from those grounds what are those uh, principles that you are uh, decorating or in, in enforcing in your environment which is more of a a uh, relationship based approach than of a uh than of a uh transactional based approach so i i just need to understand those grounds so we understand that yes this is where it has to be and this is where it, it needs to meet the environment overall all together yeah so with that uh, we come to the end of the video and i'm sure this has also given you enough food for thought uh, on this on this uh, strong pointers when it comes to 
uh, selling of high ticket service and programs. So like I was mentioned that if you stay till the end, you should be able to get some of the biggest bonanza of the day. So uh, since you've already stayed till the end, so ideally I don't give any sort of, uh, uh, you know, call for a one-to-one -one call. I mean, I charge around uh, an amount of around 5,000 or more than that. But since you stay till the end, so I'll, I like to ensure that you get a book into my one-to-one -one call with five, which the bare minimum charges are around 5,000 or more than that. But since you stay till the end, so you get it absolutely without any cost. Just ensure you go ahead and book a call and you get your business hygiene check equally as well. Parallelly equally vis a vis, do subscribe to my Telegram and subscribe channel and the Telegram channel and Facebook group as well. Join my Telegram group because uh, that's why you keep getting more insights and to the next level journey equally as well, where I get into deep connections with you also. And uh, also ensure that you join my Facebook group, group equally as well to ensure that you keep getting those uh, nurturing elements. Yeah. Uh, do subscribe and like my channel and share what is the next part back video that you want to uh, get so that I can give you the best of the best insights and elements and help you to get your business into accelerating more to the next level and scale it equally as well. With that, Avik signing off here as of now. Look forward for the next pop up video insights and uh, take it, take your business to the next level. Avik signing off here as of now. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care.